Good evening, Southeast Texas. We hope you're enjoying your Labor Day weekend. That's where we start our show tonight. Experts say this could be the busiest travel weekend in the past three years, and the majority of Americans are traveling by car. 12 News reporter James Grant live tonight along I-10, breaking down our local gas prices and how they're impacting travel plans for Southeast Texans. James. Cam, gas prices are on the decline across the country, and Texas has some of the lowest prices compared to other states. But the people I talked to today say they're still not happy with what they're paying at the pump. We're trying to survive. You know, we're trying to take care of our families and still go to work and back. The gas going to work and back is just is really hurting a lot of people. Elizabeth Baxter was heading home to Houston Sunday after visiting family in Alabama. She says while gas prices are lower than they've been, she isn't ready to call the prices at the pump cheap. I think they just play on our psychology. They raise it up so high and then they bring it down some to, for everybody to think like, oh, gas is getting cheaper or whatever, and it's not. It's still not cheap. It's still ridiculous. Trevor Reimer is in the same boat. He's still shoveling out cash while filling up his diesel truck at work. It's about 110 to fill it every two days. That's still around $5 a gallon. Reimer and his wife Kristen had to adjust their travel plans to Disney World this summer due to the high prices. We were considering driving to Florida, but we didn't because the gas prices were so high. It was so we cheaper just flew. to fly. Yeah, it was yeah. cheaper to fly. Gas prices have declined since hitting an all time high in June. Last month, down to 372, and today, down to 337 on average. A nice decrease, but still 18% higher from what we were paying a year ago today. Baxter says the impact was visible on the road this weekend. The traffic's not as heavy as it normally is on a holiday weekend, so I'm assuming a lot of people can't afford it anymore. Baxter hopes to see prices dip below 250 again, something that could happen soon with a lot of experts predicting prices will continue dropping. Live along I-10 in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News.